I'm excited to introduce to you these Goshike. We're gonna dive super deep. These guys are beautiful, Sean. Yeah, they really are, they this really are. Great selection. So these are bred by uh, Beppu. Uh, Beppu is um, not the most famous koi breeder out there, uh, but uh, it's headed by two young guys who are, uh, their family have been breeding koi for a long time. And uh, Inuwa made uh, a deal with Sakai, which is a very, very famous fish farm. And so he worked, he worked for Sakai for a long time. Um, one of his best staff actually and took all that knowledge that he learned from Sakai fish farms and is using it now on their farm. They're located in Shikoku which is this little island. I have to take a boat to like get to his place. It's no pretty, kidding. It's pretty awesome, yeah. Uh, so he's he's uh, generally a, a Kohaku breeder. He's really famous for Kohaku, Genrin Kohaku. In the last uh, two, three years he's been breeding Goshiki and Sue and Really awesome. Rocking job. Rockin', right? Rockin', man. Yeah, so I picked three, these three here because, um, you know, they're all from the same bloodline, but all three are a hundred percent different from each other. Um, it's almost like you have three different, three different styles of Goshiki here. Right. So um, we'll start off with the most traditional one here. So we'll go with, we'll call this guy point number one here. And so this is a, this is pretty much textbook traditional Goshiki. Uh, if you notice, it's got a very nice Kohaku pattern, you know, and actually like an interesting Kohaku pattern, right? Yeah, super right? interesting. Um, and and what, what I want you to pay te special attention to is the beautiful reticulation it has. So not only the, because you know, Goshiki is a white koi, uh, and that black kind of comes up as a, like a wrap around the fish. Um, the reticulation is very, very even throughout it. And a lot of Goshiki, um, like what I, what I call like an old style Goshiki, uh, they get this reticulation that develops on the black, which is, or on the, on red, the red, which is beautiful. Sure. Um, but it tends to be really spotty. So you tend to get really strong black like spots on it. And if you notice on her, there's, there's no black spots anywhere. It's just it's just that really really clean reticulation. Super clean. And so, these koi, I've only had for <coughs> about a month, a month and a half, and uh, this is a total testament to our to our water type. So if you look at their certificate here, that's unbelievable uh, right there. You can see how much lighter she is, and that's something that uh, whenever you're picking goshiki, you want to keep in mind is. Well, how much darker is it is it going to get eventually? Okay. Right. Um, so you, you can see here in this you know in this photograph it's a, it's a very yeah. very very light light gray, um, and in here if you look at like the nose it's almost almost completely black now. Right. Right. The, the nose is completely flesh in the in the picture, and right. in a month it's changed out. Exactly. Exactly. So it's going to continue to change and continue to get darker. Um, Almost to the point where maybe this is going to be too dark, but okay. uh, but people like Goshiki black like that. that that's mm -hmm. in general people really 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 like them dark. So this is this is a great choice for that for that type of uh, coloration. Okay. And it has that really nice like I said that old style and that old style. What I'm referring to is the the reticulation that's in the in the red. red. Okay. Yeah, without being dirty, without being messy or splotchy. Like you would see on he with Shirley or something, right? Right. Okay. Right, exactly. So next, let's talk about Black Hook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this Goshiki here. So we'll call this Goshiki number two here. I'm just gonna call it Black Hook. You right. can call it what you yeah, want. Okay. Okay. Well, that's Black Hook well, to Black me. Hook. You know. You know. The problem is once you like name a koi, you pretty much gotta take it home. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just bought a koi. Egg. Dang. So cool, man. <laughs> so. Uh, so Black Hook is a more uh, what I would call, because um, we have like a old style and new style Goshikis. Um, this, is, this is what I think is going to develop into a Kuro Goshiki or a very black Goshiki. Kuro, okay. Yep. Uh, but if you notice the red is completely clean. It doesn't have any of that reticulation that we saw in the first it's one It's almost here. like not even a single draw, the one little tiny. Yep, there's one little yeah. tiny speck here, right? Um, and, and that's it. The rest of it's just completely clean. So here you have two different style Goshikis. Um, At first glance, they look like the same, but right? Yeah, once you dive a little bit deeper in, you can see they're completely different fish. Yeah. Now, this type of Goshiki is very rare. Um, it's not so common to see a Goshiki of this quality. 
Um, so that's that's a you know don't show up at your neighborhood koi shop and looking in like the twenty five dollar bin and hoping yeah. hoping to find this tile uh, goshiki. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. Its its pattern, its guaku pattern, isn't as traditional as uh, this goshiki's, but to makes be up honest, for it. it makes unique, yeah, uniqueness right? and uniqueness exactly because of that black hook that you like so yeah. much, right? Um, it's yeah, it's it's just awesome. Uh, and also, just to even oh, yeah, let's... continue to wow you here, look at this look at the cert on this guy. Oh my gosh, it's almost white in the back. Yeah. But black hook's still showing up nice. It sure is. Yeah, that's <laughs> you can tell that's where it started. Yeah. <laughs> it emerged from the hook and then it's kind of wow. spread out. You can uh, see in these through. back ones, it's like white all the way around the back patterns back here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Back here, right here. Isn't, these, so it's white all the way around those guys. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. In a month, it changed like that. So yeah. you, you really think that fish is going to get a whole lot darker? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, you know, the the white is so is so clean here below the lateral line. Yeah. That I think I think it'll maintain that sort of white down down like it'll have a white belly always. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, absolutely, that black's going to continue to develop through through the top, like where where you see the darkest point here. That same dark color will be spread through the whole entire body. What can we expect in size on Goshki? Uh, so Goshiki are, um, you know, they're, they're not Gosanke, right? Right. Um, and a lot of breeders are, you know, there's so many koi breeders in Japan that are breeding Goshiki now. And one reason is because it's such a beautiful, unique uh, koi, and it's, it's very popular right now. It's like a hot fish. Uh, some, some would classify it as like the fifth Gosanke, the fourth being a Shiro Utsuri, right? Right. Um, Let's be clear, because some of the viewers might have just started watching us. So, sure. uh, explain the gosanke. You're yeah, so about. gosanke are, are the big three koi. So that means kohaku, which is red and white, uh, taisho sanke, which is red and white with little black spots, and a shoa sanshoku, which is uh, a black fish or red and white with big black stripes going. Those on. are the three big ones, and they're traditionally yeah. monsters. They're, they're yeah, they're they're yeah, because they've been around for a long time. Uh, it's the fish that's going to win Grand Champion at the All Japan Koi Show. So the breeders have just been focusing on their confirmation, you know, for years. entirely Hundreds for years. Of years. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So okay. they're big, big koi. So, so Goshiki, although Goshiki been around for a while, they're, um, you know, the the guys haven't been focusing on confirmation as right. much as because there's there's so much going on in Goshiki. Um, so you, you'll find certain breeders are focusing on, you know, color and and pattern. Uh, other guys are focusing on size, non-reticulation non inside the red. You got it. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then we haven't even talked about this third goshiki yet. So let's talk size because I'm, I'm, I'm in my yep. mind trying to figure out you already. Okay. Uh, um, what can we expect in size? Uh, so uh, beppu goshiki, I think, will probably top out at maybe mm, seventy centimeters, which. I have no idea. Is that that 20, is inches. 28 inches? Yeah, maybe? probably. Yeah, 28 inches is probably about the biggest okay. that I've seen. Okay. But um, but I know he's working on on making these guys bigger and bigger. Goshiki you tend to have um, can have that like sort of big belly. Right. Um, and I know he's trying to change that. And so you can you can see actually in all three of these koi they have, you know, really really great body lines yeah. nice long, so, exactly, long lines exactly okay let's dive into number three yeah so number three is 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 interesting right so uh if you notice number three has a completely different sort of uh, color obviously yeah right? how come this one hasn't darkened up like these guys yeah that's that's a that's a great question i and to be honest with you i don't know the answer to that um it ha i noticed it has a completely different body shape as well um you know it's much much right. larger than the other koi are uh, that's, that was why I was asking because these guys seem like long torpedo, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. this one seems like has a taller spine. I mean, yep, yeah. So um, I'm confused. Yeah, so that's this is a good question for Beppu, right? And um, I, I bet you. So in breeding Goshiki, Beppu is using uh, using, of course, Goshiki and Goshiki, but he might have introduced um, uh, a Kohaku into the bloodline, right, to help with yeah, to help with the confirmation and help with the size. Okay. And so this koi definitely is, is taking on more of that kohaku persona, right? Um, so this koi, uh, if we take a look at the certificate on this one. 
See, it's interesting. If I walked up to a tank, I would just think it was like a like a, a messy looking like sanke yeah. or like what happened. And that's exactly right. I think most people would do that too. It would definitely be like an underlooked fish. Okay. So you can see it has actually gotten a lot more black. Yeah. Nothing at all like the other other two. Yep. Um, but it's definitely getting darker, right? Mm -hmm. And I think it'll continue to get darker. But the style of goshiki is uh, is different. It's more, oh gosh, uh, I would say it's more like a Kano goshiki. And Kano is a, another goshiki breeder out there. Okay. And uh, his his goshiki always have this sort of uh, very light gray about them. It's okay. not that deep, deep black that we see in. Can we expect two. it to reticulate? Uh, no, I think you know. So this type of goshiki, I think the red's gonna remain clean its whole life and that's one of the advantages to having a light gray goshiki uh, as opposed to that deep black because that you know that black is so powerful it can be overwhelming yeah. and cause that reticulation uh, which can be beautiful but can also be pretty messy if it's not done right okay so i think this type of goshiki is going to stay very clean uh, it's going to be that really clean light gray throughout its body um, but it's not ever going to get you know that kuro or that deep black that we see on these two here. Okay. If we look close, we can see it back in here. Yep. Yeah, you can see a little, yeah, a little black here. Um, you know, obviously through here. And when this koi came in, you would have never saw any black here. We didn't see any black here that we now that yeah. we now see. It's starting to come up a little bit. Yeah. So, in choosing in choosing goshiki, uh, you know, really you have to ask yourself. You know, what is, what is my goal with this koi? How big is my pond, right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, where, where, what kind of journey am I interested in, right? Because this, this goshiki is going to take a lot of years to develop. And it may, it may never even get there, right? Because right. uh, you see how much, how much darker these guys have gotten in just a short amount of time. Uh, but the body shape on it is just massive and yeah. awesome. Very, very Confirmation exciting. body is super, super great on that fish. Yeah. Um, this koi is just an absolute stud. Whoa! Oh. Okay, rolling in hey, you got water all over the lens. Yeah, there is water on the lens. Okay, rolling in that tree. Yeah. So yeah, you really have to look at the, you know, the journey that you want with the koi, right? Right. Um, this, this, this is a superstar right now. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful fish for a long time. Uh, I, I couldn't like uh, this fish would be really really hard to pass on because it's such a unusual pattern, and it's already you know it's already a rock star. It's already right. sexy, right? But this one is unbelievable to me too. Mm -hmm. It's it's funny. It, it is funny how if this goshiki uh, didn't have either of these goshikis in here, um, this would yeah. this would be like the number one choice at a at a koi show. Um, nine times out of ten. Because it's so textbook. Exactly. At a, such a small size, right? Exactly, exactly. What I find, what I find about this, this group right here, it's almost not fair because you almost want one of each style in your pond. It's not like we're picking three koi that have this black reticulation in the red, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. three goshike that have no reticulation in the red, or three that choose from here. So it's, um, this was a tough one, it's fun. To me, it's a no-brainer. I want black hook, but um, <laughs> the, I think all three of them are cool. This one is really intriguing to me, how it has the, the patterns in the red. Right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Let's give the viewers a chance to pick out their favorites before uh, you tell us what's the best koi in here. And uh, so I'm going to have the viewers jump into the comments section and tell us what your favorite koi in this group is, fish number one, two, or three, and then take an extra second to tell us what you think Sean's gonna pick sure. as your favorite. And just to go over real quick, this uh, reticulated goshiki here is number one. Black hook is number two. And this very, very new style, clean goshiki, number three. Number three. Okay, jump in the comments. We wanna hear from you. Thanks for watching.